Guys, look at me. Come, come here. Come on. I didn't feel prepared for anything. Nothing at all. Okay? Nothing. 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 I felt prepared for nothing. short let's get it popping all right hey real ones welcome back to yomi for real and this is a show where i'm a real teacher talking about real life situations whether it be classroom management uh universal design for learning or udl or community involvement today we are going to be talking about my first introduction teacher tag video um so basically this is a teacher tag video where i give you some information about me and like basically the intro of how i became a teacher so if you see me looking down it's because i got my computer here because i want to make sure i stay on track you know what i'm saying okay so first off who am i um, if you did not know, I am Kaomi, like Naomi, but with a K, Lloyd, and I am going on my fourth year teaching. So I've been teaching for about four years now, um, and both were at a Title I school. If you don't know what Title I is, I won't get into it too crazy, but basically... Um, I went to Florida State University and I graduated in 2016, go knows, um, and I pretty much stayed here in Tallahassee and met my husband, so that's life. Um, and then I play the flute, uh, if you didn't know I'm a music teacher, um, and I play the flute. I've been playing since I was 8 years old and I'm 26, so it's been a long time. And then. Right now at the moment I teach K through 8. I'm at a charter school where we have middle school and elementary school in the same school. Alright, so let's get into the first question here. And the first question is, did you always know you wanted to be a teacher? If not, when did you decide to become a teacher? So that's a big question for me. I did not always want to be a teacher. I, when I was in kindergarten, you know how like they ask you what you want to be when you're older, and I said that I wanted to be a teacher, but you know, that's just what I said. I did not know it was going to come true. Um, when I got older, I realized that kids didn't care too much about music, so I'm like, I'm never going to be a music teacher, I'm never going to be a teacher. They don't care about music, so I'm not going to let them disrespect it, you know. Um, get like that, con like that uh, button if you feel that way sometimes when you're a music teacher. Anyway, so... Um, either way, uh, when I got to college, you know, I wanted to be a, a soundtracks for movies a musician, so I wanted to go travel and play for Disney soundtracks. I wanted to live in California and just live by myself pretty much and just travel and play music. That's what I wanted to do. Um, but then when I uh, graduated, I met my husband and uh, some things didn't work out. And so then I came back here and he was like, Oh, you're going to be a teacher. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't like teaching. Like, I'd rather just teach privately if I'm going to teach at all. Um, and then I was working at this really boring job, like this state job. If you work at the state and you like it, kudos to you. I don't. I, can't, I couldn't do it. So basically, I started looking into um, becoming a teacher. But either way, I'm going to be in the process of becoming a teacher basically, basically because the job I was at was literally killing me from the inside out. Number two, what was your major in college? And uh, that was a pretty easy one. I got a bachelor's a bachelor's degree in music with a music performance certificate. So basically, I went to school just to play music. That was it. I learned music theory. I sang. I was in marching band. Um, I was in orchestras, bands, and uh, did everything that was flute. <clears throat> but I did not do the music education route which means that they got to go to the schools and work with the kids and shadow a teacher and get certified through college like that wasn't me so i didn't do any of that i basically was just be a performer be a performer uh number three what kinds of requirements does your state have for teachers um did you have to do observation hours or student teaching etc so that's a good question um I live in Florida, so I started Googling what I needed to do in order to become a teacher when I was at that boring job. 
That's what I'm gonna call it from now on. Boring job. Hashtag boring job. Anyway, I did not go to school to teach, so there was two different roads I could take. I could pretty much go back to school, get my bachelor's in music education, and then become certified, or um, do this program where you are able to take certain things to meet up with being a teacher outside of having that major. Um, I had a mentor and I had to observe a teacher, but I decided to sort of observe at least two or three. I know two of them were music teachers and then I went around my school and did peer observations, which is a really good idea to do because you can see how they handle the culture at your school. Um, and then if you go to other schools, you get to see how they do their classrooms and it's really awesome to get that knowledge, especially if you're a first year teacher. I will be completely finished. Um, with everything by this year so I only have the courses and stuff like that to take and then I'm just really thankful for all that's been happening because my story is so weird and not the normal teacher route and God has really opened doors for me to be blessed and excel in this field of teaching. Um, number four is how did you decide which age group elementary or secondary to su su or subject you wanted to teach? Um, I decided based off of what positions were open. Did you, this is number five, did you do any substitute teaching? The answer is no. Number six, what was the process like to apply for the first teaching job you were hired for? Um, the process for me was kind of interesting because I applied for this job a month before school started. Um, not even a month, like I applied right before they were closing the window to apply for any teachers um, to for that position. Um, so I went on the, on the website that they have and I looked for job openings and I had to like put my background of school, I had to um, go ahead and get a background checked, I had to get my transcripts from college, my colleges, college, and then <clears throat> I had to get my resume done and sent, all of this done to sent to the Board of Education and to the school that I was applying for because I was trying to become certified in being a teacher. Um, so if you're not certified yet, go ahead and apply. The principal worked with me, um, so you never know what your principal will do for you if you just honest with them. Um, and basically, I just started from ground zero. So I just started to apply. I started applying and then followed directions on DOE. Uh, number seven is where were there any common interview questions you remember? I can't re specifically remember interview questions that I got when I applied um, when I had my interview, but I was at, applying to a Title I school, so. Basically, 90% of school is uh, on free or reduced lunch, and unfortunately, uh, behaviors that are not necessarily on the great side reside mostly at Title I schools. So it's a very intense situation because the kids, you know, they're in like either low-income families or they don't have stable households, and sometimes it can be a lot uh, for them. And so when they come to school, it's just they go crazy sometimes. And of course, he said that um, would I be able to ask for help. That's a really big deal. As a teacher, when you're a first year teacher, you're literally like getting thrown in there. So like you should not be afraid to ask for help at all. Always ask for help. Be that annoying new teacher because it's going to help you grow mentally and effectively as a teacher. Um, and basically that's what I did. He told me that day that I needed to take the um, K through 12 music test as soon as possible in order to hire me and so I took it two days after my uh, interview so I literally had two days to google what was on that test and then pull my memory from all the stuff I learned when I was in school and then take the test and I passed you guys so everything was just lining up for me it's crazy to think that I only had two days to study for a huge test that cost $250. Number eight, what was the first teaching teaching position you were hired for? I was hired for a K through five music teacher at a school here in Tallahassee. And what did you feel, this is number nine, what did you feel prepared for on the first day of your very first job? What did you feel unprepared for? Guys, look at me, come, come, come. I didn't feel prepared for anything, nothing at all. Okay, nothing, 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 nothing. 
nothing. I felt prepared for nothing. Of course, I, both the weeks coming up, I had two weeks to learn everything I needed to learn about teaching. But I had a mentor who helped me and she showed me like the different um, curriculums that were out there. So Quaver Music, shout out to you Quaver Music. <clears throat> dot com and uh, she showed me her strategies that she's had because she taught at uh, Title One schools for about 15 years. She's like, you're there to serve. It's going to be hard, but you're there to serve. So I try to keep that mindset of it's going to be okay. You know, just have all this structure, write out everything that you're going to do. Um, act it out in your head. Pretend like you're the first day of school. Walk through it. Um, I YouTubed, I Googled and YouTubed about Title I schools like a lot. So there's this one girl, her name is Pocketful of Primary and I hope to see her at the Get Your Teach On next, like in the next three days. Um, but I Googled uh, Title I on YouTube and, I, and Pocketful of Primary came up and I just watched her experience of being in a Title I school. She was real, she was raw, she was telling the goods, the bads, the pros, the cons. And I loved her authenticity, so it gave me a real idea of what was going to happen when I went to uh, my school. And oddly enough, it literally low-key was like a little bit more intense. <laughs> Maybe it's because I was living it. But she was really truthful about working at a Title I school and the struggles and the things that happened there and how to deal with them. Um, I also looked up this other guy, his name, his uh, YouTube channel is, I think, Agape, but he hasn't posted anything in a long time. Like, even when I looked up that video, he hadn't posted in a long time. And he, I wish he would keep going because he was a teacher in, like, California where there's a lot of gang violence. And he had that class, like, running, like, set. And he talked about how when he first started teaching the class was out of order. He didn't know what to do. He was struggling. And he practiced this classroom management stuff too in order to uh, have his class excel and learn at the high rate that he wanted them to learn. It was amazing. I'll have to link both of those videos in the description box. Basically what happened is on the first day of school, I, um, I just prayed. I prayed and I was like, Lord, give me the patience, be over these children. And then I just went, and of course there was mess ups, of course there was hard times, but you are expected to be their teacher whether you've been teaching for one day or 20 years. They expect the same excellent level. So you just gotta do your research and then just go for it. Uh, the last question is, did you have any last bit of advice for uh, people who are on their journey to becoming a teacher? So do your research. Pinterest is your friend. YouTube is definitely your friend. This is one reason why I started this channel because those two people that I mentioned, I wish I could like meet them and give them up because they, I'm gonna cry. They really helped me push forward to where I was supposed to be. Like without seeing them, I feel like I would have probably been, even though sometimes I felt lost Seeing them and seeing them get through it was was all the push I needed to keep going. So thank you, Pocket Full of Primary, and thank you, Agape Guy. I don't know if you put your actual name in there either. He's very discreet, but he was so good, guys. So good. Um, find a mentor. Find a mentor. Find a mentor. Do not think you can do this by yourself. You can, but it won't go as great as if you're doing it, you're looking at other people, observing other people, asking questions, write down stuff, make a log. <clears throat> and then you can always learn from teachers no matter how long you've been teaching. So I love um, basically smoothing up to all the teachers who are older, who've been teaching longer. I'd be in their classroom all day, okay? I'm always there. Whether I'm a music teacher, I'm in everybody's class. Whatever subject you teach, I'm going to be there. Don't take it personal. Do not take what these kids say to you personally. They are children. They are meant to make you want to scream sometimes. Do not take their little six-year-old comments and cry, okay? They are six years old, 13-year-olds. They are 13. They literally have not, they're not even grown, okay? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Throw it out and shut the door. Okay? Let it go. It'll help your life go a lot better, a lot easier. Um, be consistent. 
do not give up if you are not consistent on your things they will see and it'll go crazy um wash your hands because you will get sick wash your hands because you will get sick okay um and wash their hands if you see them pick their face go wash your hands get a tissue all of that okay be positive, don't sink into the negative of other coworkers, because coworkers, they are awesome and everything, but they will get in your ear, especially if they've been there a long time. You'll be like, man, I'm tired of this, but nah. Don't let them get in your head. Uh, remember why you are here, and remember that you need to be that person that you needed when you were a kid. Boom. So that's all I have for you today. Go ahead and like this video if you got some value from this. Um, and comment down below if you're a new teacher, if you have any questions, or if you're an older teacher, give advice to the new teachers and tell me where you guys are from. Okay, so I love you guys. It's been real. See you next time.